Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Murky Meg here. It's Monday the 19th of August, and this is my second video today. If you haven't already seen my first video, I've popped a link up in the top right-hand corner. If you want to go and view that and watch it, I talk about the narcissistic cycle of abuse and the fact that Harry looks blinking miserable. But in this video, I'm going to talk about the fact that they really can't hold on to any stuff at all, because guess what? somebody else has left and quite a prominent person as well. Now this person is called Josh Kettler and he was giving the very big prestigious title of Chief of Staff which I find rather hilarious that two people who are no longer royal don't have Secretary of Staffs and private secretaries like the royals do think it's fitting to give somebody the job title of Chief of Staff it's kind of above their station and I think that they're trying to replicate what they had in the royal family by giving out these big bold titles. Now Josh Kettner was given this role just three months ago and it was believed that he would be the ideal candidate to guide the couple through their next phase and by that I probably am assuming that He's trying to advise them not to keep slandering their family and raking over old coals and generally mudslinging. So he was given the title of Chief of Staff three months ago and he was seen with Prince Harry for the anniversary service for 10 years of Invictus. And then later that month, he was also a key figure on both Harry and Meghan's three-day tour of Nigeria. And he was also by Harry's side when he met government officials in the West African country. It was said that his role on that particular visit was said to be a foretaste of what he would achieve in the future, which basically means that they were looking forward to what he had to offer and guide them with. Well, it turns out, no, that was only a trial basis. But it's weird that he literally stepped down just as they were going to Colombia. We all know that Harry and Meghan go through staff like nobody else. They just can't seem to retain anybody. Now, a source from California said that Josh Kettler is no longer working for them. And that's all that was said. But it's been reported that Kettler quit. But what is coming out of the Sussex camp is that no, it was just a trial basis. The total number that both Harry and Meghan of staff that they have lost since they married in 2018 is said to be around about 18 people and nine or more having left since they moved to California. One former member of staff told the Daily Mail, what may be most telling is the entire time I worked there, I don't think I heard a single current or a former employee on their staff say that they would take the job again if given the chance. These aren't employees, they're just found off the streets. Many of them are people who have previously excelled working for demanding bosses in high performing companies and environments. Now, in April, Meghan herself was trying to find a chief executive officer for her new cooking and lifestyle business, American Riviera Orchard. That position is still yet to be filled. And in fact, Netflix have taken over. That's right, Netflix have taken over the reins with regards to American Riviera Orchard. And they now hold all the cards with regards to how that is going to be pushed forward. And the logical explanation for that is because nobody would step into that role. And Netflix have got a lot of eggs in their basket and they do not want this American Riviera Orchard TV, lifestyle, cooking, channel, whatever it's going to be called, to fail. It will. It will be an absolute blinking flop. Because Meghan Markle isn't relatable. She's so egotistical and narcissistic that she cannot empathise or be likeable on screen and you think that that's not going to actually translate into a working environment of course it is can you imagine what her staff have to go through on a daily basis remember there is a word there is an actual name for it and it's called the sussex survivors club 
you know, a good job requires more than just the trappings of high wages. It requires people in charge, i.e. the bosses, who actually respect their workers. And the fact that there is a revolving door that surrounds the Sussexes suggests that they don't actually treat their employees very well. And I know I always refer to crazy days at night, but quite frankly, they're on fire at the moment. NT is really on the ball. This was posted on Saturday. Speaking of the illiterate run, i.e. Meghan Markle, a very recent former employee has spoken to two attorneys, each of whom offer employment litigation as part of their service. This implies that Josh Kettler has spoken to a lawyer. I beg you, Mr Kettler, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, break the NDA, please. You know, it's not beyond the realms of possibility that an NDA could be broken. There are instances where they have been broken and there are too many instances that have been rattling on for years and years about how they treat their staff. And I'm not buying the three months trial basis because nobody hires Josh Kettler or anybody of that calibre on a trial basis. You snap them up. All that's really trying to do is sugarcoat the fact that he quit or he was fired. It could be a simple fact that he's actually disputing the line that he was only hired on a three-month trial basis and that's not correct and he could literally be saying actually you didn't do this, you hired me full-time and that's incorrect. It could be as simple as that but I hope and pray that it's a bit more juicy than that. Would implying that he was only taken on on a three-month trial basis actually be a case for slandering Kettler's professional reputation if it's not true? Apparently he went to the media and said that he quit. They came out with a, no actually it was only a three-month trial basis and if he did have a contract with them that wasn't a three-month basis then quite frankly he screwed and that NDA could be overturned. I mean, if they have broken their NDA by saying, actually, it was only a three-month basis, then they really are in trouble. Unfortunately, it seems the Sussex squad are also on Kettler's back. This has been posted on the social media, on all social medias. <laughs> it says, traitor, how dare you stab Ma Duchess Meghan in the back like this? You're a snake in the grass, Kettler, for they sow the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. I'm sorry, Kettler. But you, do you really think that Meghan will allow you to do this to her? Have you ever heard of the Sussex Squad, Kettler? We are an online army of millions. Those who insult, betray or slander our Duchess, the greatest Duchess to England's crown. I mean, come on, she's never worn a crown anyway. We'll fill our fury. We do not give up, Kettler. Oh no, we do not rest, Kettler. Meghan will have her full revenge on you and you will wish that you had never been born. You will beg for us to stop. We will never stop. What Megan wants, Megan gets. Wowzers! And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The woman that's preaching about cyberbullying, they are her fans. How hideous is that? That sounds like a direct threat. I will say one thing before I end this video. It only takes one former employee to go on record and actually take them to an employment tribunal for the floodgates to open. That's what Discovery does. And if one person stands up and says enough is enough, hopefully others will also do this too. I mean, it's standard practice that Harry and Meghan can't hold on to their staff very well. And you've got to ask the critical question, why? So I would love your opinions on why you think Harry and Meghan can't hold on to their staff and why Josh Kettler quit or do you think he was fired? And if this crazy days and nights blind is correct and Josh Kettler is actually seeking legal representation with regards to his employment with Harry and Meghan, what do you think will be the outcome and what do you hope will be the outcome? As always, I'd love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.